Good morning, welcome to day 25. Wow, we're getting to big numbers now. Ah, we've just woken up inside the Bothy, we had quite a lion. It's currently 8... what time is it? Eight, we woke up at 8.45. No, 7.45, quarter to 8. So now we're just going to have a quick turnaround. We had our brekkie already. Um, we've changed our plans a bit. We're not planning to head to another Bothy tonight. We're planning to camp at a Corrie Lake if all goes to plan and the weather holds. Uh, so it will probably be an eight and a half hour day uh, predicted, so maybe it'll take us a bit less than that. We got off uh, at 8.30 out of the whatever it's called, Bothy. We just got to a river and had a little fill up and most excitingly, only just disappearing like a minute ahead of us, we saw Richard. Uh, so he obviously didn't camp far behind us last night, so we're going to go catch him now. And when we tell him that we're planning to camp at a Corrie Lake, we're 95% sure he'll decide to come and camp with us because Richard does really like camping by water from what we've gleaned from talking to him so far. So hopefully we'll manage to convince him to come and camp with us, which would be great. Maybe we'll even walk with him this afternoon. So yeah, Richard's the cool Swedish guy we saw yesterday, the day before yesterday. All ready, Finn? Almost. How are you feeling this morning? Pretty good. My ankle's still a bit twangy. It's definitely getting less, but it's definitely there. I just think I need to take it easy. On the, um, Give us a side view of your pack because it's looking pretty slick. Oh wow, look at that! That's that so a small, small pack. Now. It's just yeah. So it's all that food good. is going away. Still got a day food left. Well, top of the coal. It's a high one. Feels mm. good to be up again, up high. We're um, I think 1,900 meters. We took us two hours to get up here, which is not bad going at all. And the views are absolutely lovely. Let me give you a quick. Let me give you a quick yeah, show. Down into that valley, Mason du Valley, yeah, or something. There's the bit of coal. The cabin right on the top, which we could have gone to, but didn't want to climb up the hill yesterday, so we came from yesterday. We made it to the four hour point. We um, found a little cafe here, so we stopped some hot chocolates, which are very good. Good hot chocolates. We made it in three and a half hours, so fast than the book's timing. We got another four and a half hours up the mountain to a wonderful lake this afternoon, which we're excited about and hoping that Richard will come to as well. We're just going to chill here and have a bit of lunch. I think probably stop for at least an hour. So we have reached the, well, finished the major ascent for this afternoon. Reached uh, about 1,900 meters. Got a little bit more to do, but it's much more gradual as we traverse, or sort of tra contour slash traverse along up to just that hilltop over there. And then after that, we're going to descend into the quarry and find the tarn. Uh, we were hoping to set up camp tonight. So not too much further to go. We've been going for about two hours currently. Uh, I think it was a four and a half hour predicted section, so plenty of luck three and a half hours, so maybe it'll take longer than we think to get over there or there's another bumble thing because otherwise we're gonna be there far too soon. We're at the lake. Oh it's beautiful. It is absolutely bumpful. There's a got some nice flat ground. We're a bit higher above the lake this time so we shouldn't have so much condensation. It's just a lovely descent into this place. We're just really happy that we chose to come here and camp rather than going rather to another sweaty bothy, yeah. so yeah, let's get pitched up. Maybe even a little pitch up video. This is a long way. Not sure if I'm going to make it. I'll save you. Have to really go for it. Absolute. Whoa. Thwacker. Look wow. at all those rocks he had to jump up. This is Look upside down. Look at all down. those rocks he had to jump over. That's like a meter and a half from up here. It's a pretty, pretty big jump. Time it is an instant happiness boost. I've been thinking about this for a bit now. So when you eat like instant noodles, you get about two happiness points out of ten, obviously. So what would happen if you would eat 
instant noodles when you were already above eight? Like, if you were at, like, nine or ten happiness, and then you would eat the instant noodles? What are you what, on? What would happen? <laughs> also, what are you on? Richard has arrived and is pitching up over there. So, that's good. Getting ready for bed. Uh, it was a really chilly evening, watching the sort of sunset behind the lake. Mountain bit. Uh, I'm just making a video, and Finn's shouting at you. Maybe he can't hear me, but I'm not actually talking to him. Um... Got a big day planned tomorrow. Got to get into Seeks to get our food, make a diversion off the GR10 and then back onto it. But all that should be good. Going to get lots of food. It's probably going to be like eight actual hours of walking. I've no idea how long it's planned to take. He doesn't say, or well, it's not part of the GR10, so he doesn't have a time for the diversion in the book. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day, I think. A bit of flat ground, first time in days and days and days. Good morning and welcome to day 26. It is an absolutely beautiful morning. The lake was glassy when I woke up. It's still fairly reflective now. Hopefully we have a four hour push to get into Seeks this afternoon, make it to town, get ourselves a whole bunch of food because breakfast this morning was a little on the sparse side. So I think we're definitely gonna need something to boost us along. Maybe I'll eat all my snacks before we get there. So yeah, gonna be a good day, I think. I just can't believe how lucky we've been with the weather recently. I think it's been, must be coming up to at least 10 days where we haven't had any rain. It's, it's insane. Last night, Finn? Really good. I had a um, good night's sleep. Woke up once and struggled to get to sleep because it was quite windy. Was but it? that blew away most of my conversation, so yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, I had almost practically zero conversation this morning, which is always very exciting. Struggled to get to sleep a bit, though. But once I was asleep, slept through solid. So, we have left the GR10 for the Ooh. second time ever. Ever, yeah. Uh, we have been walking for two and hours and 45 minutes, and we have now taken off the diversion to go to Cease. To get food! For our bellies. So hopefully we should be there before midday and not fall victim to the siesta again. That's the goal, so we're gonna Stop filming and start speed hiking, I think. It's in only three and a half hours, and we got to the shop and it wasn't closed, which is superb. We also went to the bakery and bought these base sized. They're like giant donuts. Donuts? Mmm, they're so good. We're not going to stop for lunch here, because I think we're still like five hours or six hours out from where we're going. So we're going to walk for another couple of hours. We're going to walk, do, we're going to rejoin the GR10, and then once we're back on the GR10, it'll be about four hours and 15 minutes away from where we're going and then we'll stop for lunch. So, great going this afternoon. This is so tasty. GR10 stopping for a bit of luncheon and uh, we're trying to get a new meal tonight. So we bought some lentils in the uh, village shop and we're gonna give them a go cold soaking them. So we filled up our water bottles with lentils and filled up with some water and cold soaked them all for the rest of the day. So maybe another four or five hours. And then hopefully they'll only take like seven to 10 minutes to cook. So we shouldn't use up too much fuel. We'll see how it works out. We also bought some, what did we buy? Food. Bread. Bread. No. What do we buy to add to the lentils? Oh. Green Thai curry paste. Green Thai curry paste. We're going to have green Thai lentils. Welcome to the day 26. Maybe I got that wrong. Campsite. And it's not where we were planning to stop. We decided to stop an hour and a half, can you believe it, before where we were planning to stop. And that's because where we are right now is absolutely lovely. We couldn't walk past it. There is something very exciting about it. Now, I'll just give you a little pan around and uh, maybe you can spot what's exciting. My tent, that's at all the campsites. There, there's a nice view, that's, that's pretty standard. That's at, uh, probably about two thirds of campsites. We've got a lovely river. Now that definitely elevates it a lot, but it's not exciting. There's Finley's tent, that's at all the campsites as well. What is exciting today about Finley's tent is the pitch. I don't know if you can see that in there, but that bathtub floor is pitched impeccably. I would say for the first, Two weeks that I had with this tent, I didn't believe that you could pitch it with the bathtub floor up like his is back there. But this is proof that you can. It takes a long time, but you can. No, what makes this campsite exciting is that massive, massive water pool over there, which we are going to traipse up to and go swimming in. And it's going to be amazing. Also, a quick status update on the uh, cold soaking. Look at what has happened. Those beanie lentily things have swelled up so much. This cold soaking is definitely worth First step to getting to the waterfall, cross the rickety janky bridge. Did you pay your troll tax? Pardon? Did you pay your troll tax? 
way more impressive up close. Ta-da! Okay, it's rolling. I'm gonna put my glasses here as well. So you'll want to listen to our voices here because this was incredibly painful. Like full on painful. Basically the water was falling from really really high going very very fast and then hitting us and it was like the most insane power shower you'll ever experience and it was it's just so painful it was like being whipped. Yeah it wasn't a particularly pleasant shower and we had a little wash in the lake afterwards but it was really good fun. We're both doing something we're not normally uh, comfortable with. We're cooking. So we've uh, gone. You tell us about what we've done, Finn. So imagine you took like your favourite meal, like fish and chips or steak, and you kind of scrap for that, and you got a bunch of lentils <laughs> and some like powdered flavours. Okay. Oh, is that hot? Well, yeah. It's Are you easy. heating it? Yeah. I almost picked the whole thing up. Go on, pass me that. I want to bring it to this camera. So as you can see, I found some wild mint. It is. It looks disgusting. It tastes. The disgusting. real issue is I don't actually know what lentils are supposed to taste like, and, and right now they just taste like green. Them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to eat the mint or whether it's toxic. And, and uh, the Thai the Thai curry paste is more of just like mild spice, so I don't think it's going to be strong enough to blow away the the lentil taste. I'm having such a lovely time eating my slightly raw, oh, cold. Wow. Oh, it's disgusting. It's like. The third worst thing I've eaten in the last 40 days. <laughs> the third worst? What was worse than this? Seriously, what was worse than this? That bread. What bread? And that coffee you made me try. What bread? That weird bread we got on day three on the difficult Oh, descent. that was bad. Actually, I quite... I, that was much better than this. It was like this oily bread we ate once upon a time. This is bad. This is bad. This is like... You know that uh, like, there are these like green beans that mum makes us eat? And they're like big and green and quite raw. And inside them they have these seeds, which are the worst bit. It's like taking the seeds out of the green beans and then and putting them in a pot. And just serving them. And not serving like a small kind and, of delicate and then amount. just serving warming the water. a giant pot. About like, like so much that... Oh. Oh, oh. We are planning to, to have vengeance on lentils though, so it's all good. <laughs> 